everybody. Shane back with you from Guitar Oracle. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. And this is Tequila Sunrise, another Eagle song. A lot of requests for this one, and people are asking a lot of questions about the strumming pattern, so we'll dig right in and make sure we can play that. Um, one word, go get some sheets. If you've been here before, you know the drill. If you go to shanesimpson.com, I'll be referring to song sheet the whole time. Uh, there's chord diagrams, there's the order of business there. There's nothing to sign up for, there's no hassle, so just go get that sheet, and you'll be in way better shape. Um, so thank you for subscribing, coming back, and all your thumbs up, and and uh, I really, really appreciate it. It's been great to hear from so many of you, that's for sure. Well, dig right in here. Uh, I'm going to use what I call a big kid's G here, the big kid's G. Um, you can get away with the other kind of G, but for now, I can hear it on the record. It's definitely that guy right there. And you've got your third finger there, middle finger on the second fret of that A string, pinky's going to the high string. I think you know there's a picture of them there at the bottom of your sheet. And um, well, if we break the strumming pattern up, into, uh, just going to break it up, but get the basic mechanics first, and then we're going to get this hammer-on thing going on. It's basically this in slow motion. Down, down, up, down, up. And there's a little hammer-on there. Down, down, up, down, up. But we'll just go through that slowly. The first thing we need here, I'm going to go to that same G chord, and I'm going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so we're going to remove one of those uh, downstrokes later on, but you just get the basic mechanics of that. That's going to be again, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you see that quick little down, up you've got in there. So again, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you want to count that one and a two and three and four. And again, three, four, going down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Let's do it again. Three and a four, going down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Good, so you might have to stop tape right there. Just go and get that uh, burned into your right hand. Um, if we take it one step further now, you're going to see something on your sheet called G6th. And all that's going to happen there is your middle finger is going to come off from where he is there and go down to the second fret of the D string. There we go. I'll go back to that G shape. You've got your basic G there, big kid's G. Middle finger is coming bad down one string toward the floor, heading to the D string. And that's that guy there, G6. And you'll notice there's an X on the A string there, uh, asking you to try to mute out this A string. Your ring finger is probably leaning over, and hopefully that's just uh, X'd out. You won't even have to try to get it. So it uh, doesn't mean you have to miss it with your right hand. Your ring, ring finger just leans over and chokes out that A string. There we go. As G6. It might sound odd if you, if you isolate it like that, but in context, as you know, down, down, up, down, up. Now, how do we get that going with the right hand? We go down, down, up, down. On this upstroke, I'm gonna take my middle finger off, okay? If we stop it there, that's gonna be this. Three, four, down, down, up, down, up. So he's coming off right there, okay? Off on the upstroke. Just take it that far so you can get that. Three, four, G, down, down, up, down, off. Let's do it again. Three, four, G, down, down, up, down, off. There we go. Now, we hammer him on to the second fret of the D string. Okay, so that's where he's going to end up, uh, eventually ends up there anyway. So I go down, down, up, down, off on the upstroke, and I'm going to hammer it on. Hammer it on the second fret so you don't strum there. Okay, so it's down, down, up, down, up, and then, whoa, there's your hammer on. Now, at the same time you do a hammer-on, you want to do what we call a ghost stroke, where you do the down stroke, but you don't hit the guitar. That's going to keep your right hand in sequence in, in, in terms of downs and ups. So very, very slowly we have this so far. Down, down, up, down, off on the up, hammer-on, go stroke, and then up, down. Okay, let's do that again. Three, four, going down, down, up, down, off he comes, on, hammer, and then back with an up, down, on the very last upstroke, he comes off again. The middle finger will come off again. Yeah, so he's just up there in midair. Okay, you don't have to jump back to the G, uh, your prop G shape proper, simply because your ring finger is uh, is choking out that A string, so he's not really making a difference anyway. I know that's a lot coming at you. You may have to stop tape there. You scribble it down, do whatever you need to do, rewind, rewind, and let me do it very, very slowly. I'll try to call it out as I play it. Three, four, it's going down, down, up, down, off, hammer on, up, down, off. Okay, let's do that a bunch of times, very slowly. Three and a four G, down, down, up, down, off on the up, hammer on, up, down, off. Okay, now if you're not hearing your hammer as loud as you'd like to, it just takes a little while to get sure-footed on that and uh, give it a good solid. Like that, you'll get it just a little, 
apply a little force to that guy. Here he is, round around three, four, going down, down, up, down. Off we go on the up, hammer, uh, up, down, and off on the up. Okay, two more times, three, four, going down, down, up, down, off on the up. No, I should have strummed it there on the down. Let me do that again. Three, four, going down, down, up, down, off of the up, hammer, up, down, off. Yeah, last time. Three, four, going down, down, up, down, off of the up, hammer, up, down, off. There we go. So that's on your G chord. Um, now, you'll see that in the intro. Anytime G and G6 is bracketed, you see that going on. Uh, brackets mean uh, two beats a piece. So effectively what's going on is you're getting basically two beats on the G, two beats on the G6 is what all that kind of adds up to. Um, when we get to the other chords, like A minor and D, we go back to the basic pattern that we started with without the fancy hammer on it and such. So if I jumped on an A minor chord here, I'm going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's just the way we started out today. How about three, four, A minor? Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I know your D coming, for instance, here. Three, four, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you're back to G to G sixth. Down, up, down, up. So in time, just to remind you, now it's quick, it's, I've clocked it at about 111 beats a minute. It's about here. I guess the finer the detail of it, watch out that the fast down up doesn't overpower everything. There's, there's a tendency when you're first learning a strumming pattern for it to be very uniform. It may sound this way, I'll exaggerate it like. It's a little too harsh on that. On the fast one, uh, the fast down up in there, maybe just aim for the top three strings, maybe top four, uh, just, just so it's not all six going on there. So you dad. So I'll call it fluffy sound in there going on for sure. Um, now, verse section. In the verse, you see everything's written there. Uh, in the verse section, G, it's another tequila sunrise. You could uh, G to G6. He's doing that on the recording. I just had to listen to it. He's doing that on the recording, so you'd continue with that figure. Now, if you if you have trouble singing while you're doing that fancy part, completely understandable. Maybe just uh, bring it down to a basic G and apply this pattern here. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's our basic pattern without the fancy hammer on thing. So I'll do it that way in the verse. And at the end of each, uh, at the end of the, every second line, basically, you're going to see the G to G6 pattern. There's a hole in the vocal there. There's nobody singing, so they tend to fill it up with that. So let me take it from, here's your first verse, G to, uh, just sitting on G, a basic pattern. Three, four, down, up. Yeah, down, down, up, down, up. Here's a D coming. There's two of those. A minor, one pattern, D7, G to G6. G again, down. Two of those, D. A minor, D7. That's your verse form. That's going to happen a few times in the song. Uh, now, stop tape there. If there's any chords that are new to you, I haven't sort of sat down and said, okay, here's a D7, here's a D. They're all on your sheet. Have a look for that on the bottom of the page there. You can't miss them. Um, so if you're having any trouble with that, any, I got to tell you, if, um, if, there's, if there's hesitation in the left hand, supposing one of those chords is new to you, your right hand doesn't stand a chance of getting that pattern right if this guy's not sure-footed. So watch out. Uh, this doesn't mean you're not coordinated or anything like that. You just have to get those left hand moves down. And then this guy just kind of takes care of himself. But it does require this guy feeling pretty good. Um, I don't know what to call this part. I call it a bridge every night when the sun goes down. Uh, it's not really a chorus because of uh, the way the form is here. But E minor, nothing fancy, nothing fancy there, just a standard pattern. E minor, every night. C, E minor, C, E minor, A minor, D7, Uh, 
Uh, then we got another verse going on. Nothing, nothing fancy there. And then the only other part, take another shot of courage. I guess I'll call this another bridge here toward the end of the song. Take another shot of courage. This A minor, same pattern. D uh, shot of courage. Now there's a B minor. Sorry about that. Not my fault. There's a B minor uh, bar chord. If you've uh, been doing some guitar work videos before, you probably bumped into this chord. D minor. And that's a bar. And I'll remind you, try to keep that first finger as straight as you can. Uh, try not to rest your elbow on your leg like that because it's really restricting your wrist. So get come in from underneath kind of thing. A little pull from the left shoulder. And don't be surprised or disappointed if you get a little bit of this going on. That's one you just have to take your hand off. A great idea. Just practice, practice getting there and it will clean up. I promise you that. Uh, B, uh, B minor to an E to an A minor. There's a B7 in there. No problem. There's a picture of them there for you. E minor 7 can be many things. This one I'm going E minor with the pinky here on the third fret of that B string. And now there's an A and then we're back to basically a verse section. It's another tequila sunrise. Yeah, so we're going to do a lot of uh, favorable feedback on the play along series I was thinking of doing. We did one for Lion Eyes just the other day and a lot of favorable feedback. So I'm going to do a, a play along of this one. So I know that was quick and dirty. Tequila Sunrise by the Eagles. Fantastic song. Uh, coming right up, you're going to find I'll do a play along video where we'll put the drum machine on and just take it all the way through at a reduced tempo and then at the uh, at the actual speed as well. Um, I should point out there's an instrumental section uh, about midway down the page. Uh, in this one, it just says instrumental verse. You play a half of verse there the chords do a half of a verse if you want to play along to that beautiful guitar solo in there so dig in here it is again about 111 here three four and yeah. so go and get that right hand pattern it'll serve you very well thanks a lot for coming back guys we'll see you again very soon bye bye now cheers Ow.